Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rooms of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. This is going to be a general collective energy reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. What I'm getting for this reading is that you're, you're powerful and standing in your power lately has gotten a few people choked up it's like you know <laughs> you you can be felt with a few words when you walk into the room and some people might even feel like you know like like you carry yourself with a sense of superiority but it's like it's like spiritual superiority it's not that you think that you're better than other people it's that you know you might just be and i don't mean based on like what am i trying to say like not based on your looks the amount of money you make not based on your your weight, height, skin tone, or your even your education or your accolades. Like, you know, it's based on how you treat other people. If you treat people better and you are kinder, then you are a better person than someone who chooses to not treat people as good, who chooses to use people, who chooses to step on people, who chooses to harm other, no matter what they have, they can never be better than a person who is right and fair. Just and fair is better than anything else. <laughs> you know? And then I'm seeing, huh, you might also be very humbling right now. Like you might, it might be easy for you to humble certain people right now because I'm just seeing this energy of this person that's like, I no longer give not one F. Like, you know, like it's just a sense of emotional stability. I always get choked up seeing just different uh, visuals in my head flashing and then, you know, just feeling the energy, like the detachment, the, the spending time with yourselves. But that's exactly for um, what these tarot cards are for. Finding balance, time management, adaptabilities, priorities, make a choice. Some of you guys are moving into, into like like alpha mode it's like you're able to balance a lot of different things now some of you guys may have in the past could have gone from either passive or aggressive and now you're learning the art of i don't want to say passive aggressive but you're learning the balance of how to put people in place in in your energy you might have recently had some sort of ordeal where you left somebody stuck. It's like you're leaving people stuck even based off your knowledge. Some of you guys emanate higher knowledge and you might even have people who are supposed to be authority figures mad at you. You might like you might know more than what your teachers knew. You might <laughs> knew know more than what your doctor standing in front of you know. Some of you guys could have had it and in, got into it. I'm seeing flashes of somebody like getting into it with their doctor. Not like, you know, into it, into it, but like, I don't know, walking out of an office somewhere where, huh. It's like, you know, you made them feel very unprofessional. There could have been someone who was operating in ego rather than operating in professionalism. But it's just, huh, you, you'll find people who are, who are up there challenging you. Somebody, this person, this could have been like a lawyer. This could have been like a judge you, you, where you pledge your case, you know, and, and you left them stuck. It's like, huh. You might specifically have problems with people who are the same gender as you. Some of you guys are some some lovely looking men and some of you are some attractive looking ladies. And even if you don't feel that way and you're not trying, it's like your posture is changing because you don't really give a F. And like and then I'm hearing that with that phrase by Tupac, I don't give a F and mother 
just love it. Like, you know, <laughs> like, you know, when you care less about people, it's like people are bending over to please you now, now that you stop caring about them, the more they care about you. Yeah. And not only do you not care, it's like, you won't take, you intimidate people because you won't take what they say and then, and just run with it. You know, you won't just accept it if somebody tells you what's possible, what's not possible. So that's especially with like lazy authority figures. They want to tell you something like, oh, that's not going to happen because, you know, with my experience, I know because I've been this way and that way and they might want to tell you that and they could see it in your face like, mm, this mother don't know nothing. I'm about to get another, a second opinion and you won't do it. Somebody else will, you know, especially when it comes to people doing your service. Like some people, even when it comes, it, could, it don't even have to be like a professional. It could be like a nail tech telling you why you shouldn't get red glitter just because they don't feel like applying a red glitter and they're hoping you would just run with it. Oh, you know, it can cause uh, <laughs> a, a nail biting fungus or something. You know, they try to tell you and you give people that look like I'm not buying it. Some people are so used to using their their titles or you know as a way to power trip and control and you don't allow that or spirit is telling you not to allow that to remember that if this is somebody who you don't agree with their opinion you can always get a second opinion you know if you don't agree with your lawyer your doctor your nurse your your teacher even you know i don't know if you're a, you're stuck in a situation where you have a teacher, you might not be able to switch, but to do research on your own, you know, don't be afraid to, don't just take what they say at face value, resisting change, stagnation, fear of new beginnings, repeating negative patterns. Yeah, there's some people here who you call them out on this, of them being stuck in a certain mindset that's really not getting them anywhere in life. I'm, I'm hearing you call people out on that. You could have had people, huh, because you're focused on self-improvement, even higher knowledge, and like, and uh, some of you guys might even try to improve your body. Some people might mistake your energy at first for people pleasing. And then I'm saying a lot of you guys aren't really people pleasers. Like you focus on self, but they can't think of any other reason to take care of themselves or to open up their knowledge rather than to impress other people. So when they see you doing that, they assume that you are that way and that they could like somehow take advantage of your, your neediness to please. And then it's like you, you shift their perspective because how am I trying to put this? Because number one, I don't think you're like really a people pleaser. And number two, it's like you make them realize that, you know, if they're not put, if they're, they're putting, if they even spend that much time reflecting on you and what they can and cannot get out of other people, then they're wasting their time. Like, you know, getting anything done. They're not working on self. You know, if they they don't have the motivation to do it themselves, that's what I'm trying to say. Because you know, a lot of people who are trying to puppeteer other people, they're never going to go anywhere unless they look themselves in the mirror and they're like, okay, what are my traits and how can I utilize those traits to get to where I need to be rather than what are those person, what is that person's traits and how can I utilize that to uh, take advantage of them? Hmm. Do they get angry? Because if they do, maybe I could try to make them mad. I can get into an argument with them. Then I could use it to gossip on. I could be like, oh, this person got angry at me. And then we blah, 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 blah. Or that person seems real kind. Maybe I could um, 
get them to do this for me and that for me. That way I don't have to ever worry about doing that for myself. And, I, and I'm codependent on the person energy. So maybe if I call on them, they'll come running. Maybe they'll listen to my problems because, you know, and they don't even realize like, you know, the fact that they would need somebody there 24 seven is kind of a problem. They want you to listen to their problems, but maybe they should be listening to their own problems and trying to solve it, <laughs> like, if you know what I mean. So, you're, but a lot of people mistaken your energy. Yeah, for maybe being like this, like I said, people please their energy just because you take care of yourself. But then they soon come to find out that you're actually focused on yourself. Some of you guys could have been shamed for that. You could have been called self-centered because you don't allow people to take advantage of you. And I was just saying that they need to focus on their own problem, taking responsibility, confession, truth revealed, turning a new leaf. Hmm. Yeah, there's somebody in the past who a lot of people are changing their perspective on you especially and they're embarrassed because of this i'm saying there's somebody there could be a group of people this could even be family members where they just huh they took somebody else side because they thought that that person was going to be the person to succeed or accomplish things or beat you or this per there could have been a couple people who felt like they were going to succeed succeed accomplish things before you like marriage a place to stay or just general stability and this person didn't get any stability like you did it's like and you might be one of the few people who actually have stability or you're attracting stability into your life and this is why these people feel embarrassed because they feel like they were they picked the loser they picked they were on the losing team when they went against you and not only that Number one, it should you should have never been a competition in the first place, especially if you guys were friends and you guys were family. It's like it's not a it's not a race. Now these people want to think that too. It's not about a race because you already won if it was a race. <laughs> but it's just this this energy of being wrong about you. And some of you guys, because of the betrayal, like I said, they don't like this 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 new you, this fierce new you. They don't like that they try to push your care button so many times that you just stop caring. A lot of them are trying to figure out where you got this confidence from. And you got this confidence from so many people going against you. It's like, okay, you want to test me? Wait your turn, B. Like, I got a long line of, that's waiting to burn me. That's from Styles P. I think it's called wait your turn. <laughs> but you know, so it's just like whatever. And then you can see through people facades now. Before I, I when I did this reading the first time, it didn't record, but I had pulled the Queen of Cups or something. Stalemate, difficult choices, stuck in the middle, hidden information, coming to a cross road oppositions your ops your ops want to be on your team now oh my goodness your your opponent and they and then because look stalemate i gotta look up the definition of stalemate let me okay stalemate a situation a situation in which further action or progress by opposing or competing parties seems impossible they cannot go against you you know it's like okay you're this is what stuck out to me the the and people choosing the wrong team because it seems like your ops have nowhere to go you're opposing forces like i said it shouldn't have even been a competition in the first place and now people are looking and then yeah the war had again reached stalemate meaning that there's nothing that your your opposing parties can do it's like you can't be competed with it's like you move too far ahead and not just that it's like oh 
like I said, it's really a person who I'm talking to. This collective is in their power and you're just not competing. You can't compete with someone who's in the mirror improving their lives rather than looking towards other people to do it. This person, whoever went against you, a lot of their karma is to be stuck. They're stuck they're stuck. They can't move. They can't, they can't see a possible way to build a future for themselves. And this is getting really sad. Oh, I feel really sad energy because I don't want to say it here because, you know, we did get the, the, um, the transformation card here. Some of these people are feeling like they want to, move on past this lifetime. I'm not going to say the um the word, but you know, they don't because they feel like they don't they're never going to be able to live up to this. It's like they put themselves in a position of competing against you. And it's like some of these people could have even been younger than you, but then they wanted to have that so bad and say this like, oh, I'm younger than you but got my life together uh faster than you did and then it's like some of the older people who forced the competition this could have been your auntie this could have been your mama this could have been your grandmother or some sort of mother figure here that kind of led on this competition and then just the way some people treated you just based off of their perception of a future that they didn't know they didn't know what was possible for you, but some of them acted like they did know. They acted as though you were really their thoughts of the future. And now they can't really, hmm, they can't trust themselves and their own thoughts because you're not who they thought you would turn out to be. And this person who was really at competition with you feels a special type of burn and embarrassment because they huh because they just who they they thought they would be more than you and it's like you know they're not so they feel a special type of embarrassment and some of these people might have tried to shame you crazy make you maybe even say the things you had was a lie some of you guys might have dipped off for a minute. It's like, yeah, I might have completely pulled your energy away. But other people might have somehow found you. If you have social media where you're posting or you may, some of you guys are running your own business. Some of you guys are just looking really good right now. You could have gotten a couple of tattoos, piercings, changed something about yourself. And that inner glow is undeniable. Like your people are looking at them and looking at you like it's not giving crazy. It's giving that person was ahead of their time. Like the collective here, you was ahead of your time. Some of you guys might have been started social media pages before it was even that popping. Or you might have been looking towards entrepreneurship or whatever you were doing, you've been doing it. Even down to just having a regular job. Maybe even some of you guys are married. You started friendships. You did you did your own thing <laughs> and you doing the thing. Like, you know, you're doing the damn thing. Like you, you and looking damn good, four, four, four on the clock. To the point where yeah, ambition, willpower, control, success, self-discipline, focus, determination. A lot of people are talking about your focus, your ambition, your determination. They're who they're quite impressed by it. If I do camera say when I'm recording when I pull these cards, usually I put them back and then I'll breathe do the shuffling because I say that's not meant, but I'm going to keep this here. We got complacency, workaholic, stubbornness, dull, laziness, pessimism, and that's right below the, the death card in reverse. And this is letting me know that this is them and they're refusing to change. This person is a workaholic, but they're working towards the wrong things here. This is a workaholic that's working real hard to be a manager at a place they don't even like working at or to do something that 
they're not even going to get accolades and it's like their whole their whole superiority has crashed it's like you're a wake-up call to them since you came back around if you did come back around you made too many big changes for them to compete with or to keep up with seize the moment tenacity accomplishment determination and you had a lot of fun too it's like and you had very unique experiences and the funny thing is they're in this rut and and them being stuck in this rut a lot of them feel like you're the only one who can pull them out of this pull them out of this self-hate you're the only one who can tell them that you know they're they can do what you can what uh, they want to you to tell them that you know if i can do it you can do it and you know and it's not going to be that hard i believe in you but when they felt like they had it it's like they were doing the opposite to you like you ain't never gonna get it huh what i do you can't do mm, you can't get this can't do that like <laughs> which is crazy because they want you to lift them up right now uh, when you're down but they also realize that that side of you is gone they don't feel that side of you anymore and it's like they were in this this knight of pentacles energy and they were judging you in this seven of pentacles energy it's like you were digging a garden right here you did a lot to plant your pentacle bush and then you sat back and you looked at it you observed it for a moment this is the time you might have took to chill smoke a blunt maybe even relax kick it with them and they judged you by this energy they thought you were going to be stagnant because you were rusting on your shovel after you um just planted a whole garden of pentacles <laughs> you know and then they're like oh that's good you got a little pentacle bush back there but is that really going to sustain you but not only do you got a bush these but this bush grows with seeds that you could plant more pentacles and and pentacles and pentacles and that's eventually leading you to abundance it's like you know now, and this person is like, you can see his face. He's looking at his pentacles kind of like, at first you didn't see it because other people weren't impressed by it. Like, oh, okay, you know, <laughs> but now you're moving into energy of having long-term success, perseverance, rewards, harvest, planning, results, patience, hard work. It's like they refuse to see all of that in you but they definitely see that in you now. And because they see that in you now, they regret even putting themselves in competition with you in the first place. And a lot of you guys, it's like, they also can't compete with your physical, your, the way is something the beautiful and aesthetically about you. You some of you guys could have got piercings, you could have got tattoos, you could have switched up your place, you could have a real nice looking place. It's like since finding you, they want to compete with you, but they don't even know where to start. Some of you guys might rock different, a different hairstyle. It's just something about your aesthetic. It's like, you know, and even if they tried, they know they can't. They know that other people would know that they got it from you because I'm seeing your look is so original. Like, you know, <laughs> I think I'm going to pause this, maybe pull like two more cards and then end it with some angel numbers. I always do the five minutes at a time. I got to fix my eye clown. I don't know why it'd be like only want to record five minutes or my Wi-Fi. I don't know. So I could do like the full video. Oh, we got the Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, career opportunities, resources, manifestation, abundance, stability, security, prosperity. Some of you guys might be starting a new job. The new job might be in security. That's not for everybody. That's specific. Hmm. Some of you guys are just learning new ways to manage your abundance. You might be investing it. 
and your investments going to come back, especially over time. Like this is like some of you guys, if you're thinking of looking into huh, those, those investment plans where you put in some of your money away, that's really going to grow. It's going, it's going to be a good look. Spirit, give me more. Give me, give me more. Oh, see, I told you. Oh, gosh. Recovery from financial loss, forgiveness, triumph, overcoming adversary, positive changes. That might have been you at some point out in this cold, struggling, going through it. Now you're recovered from all of that. And a lot of people didn't want to face you because some of these people Believe it or not, they might have felt less intimidated by you when you were out in the cold. Some of these people might have even hoped that you would depend on them, like they had thought you would need them. And they're like, oh, I'm not doing this for you, not doing that for you. And you're like, who asked? <laughs> who asked? <laughs> and these people, it's funny, that thought you would depend on them. They can't even depend on themselves. Let's pull some angel number spirit. Let me end this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers. I saw a 999 in a row, just to let you know. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this reading. That's nine, <laughs> three, two. I'm like, okay. So 999. I think I'm going to do that angel number on my... um. My Instagram, I have an Instagram with angel numbers. It's new, relatively new, but I like to post readings on the angel numbers that I've been seeing recently. So I'll look this angel number up. Give me a minute. Okay, this is from So Sync. It says 932 is a sign that it's time to ask yourself what you really want and follow through with it. Believe in yourself and don't be swayed by the opinions of others. It's important to listen to your inner voice and take action on what feels right for you. Yes, listen to your inner voice. It's that's funny too. Like it's, I had a funny story about that. Maybe I'll save that for next time because I was like I should have listened to my intuition where it said not don't even go to this appointment I had. I went <laughs> and I'm like oh I'm like why am I even here? Why do I even talk to these people? Because I was like but I was like no I'm not going to procrastinate. Like no. You know, that's it though. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you resonated with this, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, I see you in the next reading if it resonates with you. Other than that, I always say don't force it. If you want to just click because you like to watch me hear what I got to say, I love you for that. Yes, but don't feel the need to force anything. And thank you for helping your girl grow. I will see you next time.